All right. Well, I've really been noticing lately that when I'm having fun, it tends to make the game become more fun. I added a lot of little fun elements. Check it out. This is a... Uh, well, this yellow orb here is going to represent the levitate ability for now. I haven't really created a voxel model for that yet. But check it out. When I step on this little platformy thing here, this deus type thing, um, it'll respond to my movement, and then I'll get the... Uh, I'll get the item, and then check it out. When I step off of it, it responds to my to me as well. So this is kind of cool. It's like just a little thing that interacts with the player, juices things up a little bit. Um, but I really got to add some more stuff too to this too. Like make the player hold up his hand, hold the item in the air, do some light beams, maybe a zoom in, some particles. A bunch of fun stuff is gonna happen here. But um. What I wanted to show, what I'm working on now, is uh, the boots. Well, check it out. Here's the, um, we've seen the levitate ability before. Let's turn off all the debug view. There we go. Um, oh yeah, these switches are new too. So, or this animation for the switches, I should say. Oops. So, I mean the gates. When you hit the switch, the gates come down. And it's got this animation here. We can go see that happen over here again. If we do this player's switch. Oh, and there's boots we can get too. So yeah, let's get the boots. Check us out. Now we got boots. These are fun. Um, you basically use a button and you can run fast for a while. And you can run through rocks. So you're like, whoa, I can run through rocks and walls. So it's since it's a mobility item, um, all the mobility items have the ability to get you through stuff. Like you can go through the gate with the blink. You can blink over a gate. You can... Um, you can also use the levitate ability to levitate over a gate. And now, since if there's uh, still a gate and you have the boots, you can run through gates with the boots too. But when your boots are finished, so you basically use the boots and you've got speed for like three or four seconds. That's going to depend on how many upgrades you've earned in this multiplayer universe. Uh, but then, so uh, once the, the speed runs out, now you can't walk through walls anymore. But check it out. Now, this is what I'm working on right now, the very current moment, right before I did this video, is what happens when um, the player gets stuck inside a wall, right, after their boots run out? Or what if the, you levitate and land somewhere, right? So now it, it just kind of like kicks you out of anything. Basically, it finds the closest destination around that's uh, around you that it can find that is open and um, teleports you there really quickly. So there's no damage, you don't get hurt or anything from it, but you just like get pushed out of walls. That's the blink orb. Oh, and also when you when you set when you pick up an item and you have a similar item, it will um, leave the other item on the ground, so it swaps out an item. So we're swapping the blink for the boots here, if we want. That's pretty fun too, because then you can like change items, switch things up, steal an another player's item, but have to leave yours, stuff like that. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, so let's do the, the levitate too. I haven't even tried this. Let's go find let's find some levitate here. Whoa. I can't walk through walls with god mode anymore? I messed that up. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, that's still boots. Oh, here we go. Here's some, here's a blink, or I mean a levitate. All right. Whoa, is this god mode and speed? <laughs> Dang. All right, there. So we got levitate, right? We can jump over walls, gates. Whoa, is, is it sped up? What is going on here? Why can I move so fast still? Ah, I think this has something to do with god mode and speed interacting. But anyways, okay, let's land on a gate or a wall. So there you go. Boom, it just like kicked me out land on some of these rocks here boom just kicks me right out to where wherever it can find the closest point pretty sweet oh that sucks got kicked out over here I'm like <laughs> this is... oh, that's funny hi can just levitate back over but um yeah I'll have to fix stuff like that I wonder if I may need to make these uh, pillars a little bit bigger in fact, let's check that really quick. Really quick, so quickly. Let's see how big the pillar is. 
It's 16 by 16, that's about right. Standard. Okay, so there you have it. Working on some fun stuff. Having fun here. And um, glad you could like glad you could join me on this quick little adventure.